you are so welcome with us and we excited us that we can be as the body of Christ be together and celebrate those who can enter the kingdom and each one of us that are challenged that we will become 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 everybody say become like little children understand how to be in his presence and how to honor him as our father as our father amen I believe each one of you received something like this and I quickly want to take uh, 7 minutes 25 seconds to talk about truth and facts truth and facts my brother my sister friend you know in a school when we talk about education there's a lot of information that is given and then we must memorize the information we must know the facts of so many things and that is what the world out there can do in every secular school every excellent 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 school can give through the information give through the facts but not one if not led by the Lord can give through the truth But the challenge for every parent, the challenge for every staff member, supervisor, monitor, is that in the midst of the information, we will bring forth the truth. That when we get information in science, information in, with language, whatever it will be, that we will see the heart of God. You must do your English, Afrikaans, Sutu, Zulu, Swahili, whatever language. But in that, to say, God, teach me your language. A language is there, and I need to understand the heart, that I can express my heart through this language to people, but also to you. That I will know the language in such a way that I will hear your heart. And not so struggle with the information about the language that I cannot look beyond and find the truth. May God bless you, every child, every parent, every brother, sister, that we will understand how to find the truth among the facts. Because no man in the world can do that, because only Holy Spirit can open that up. So take the challenge, supervisor, take the challenge and say, God, I want to do this with you, but if you want to do it with, with God, that's okay to have the prayer. But practically, Christ must be seen with what is given through. And Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And we can win in the midst of the information. You can show him as the way. Then the child, every child will not find, when I know all this information, there's a future for me. No. When I find the way in the information, then there's a future for me. Then there's a future in Christ, with Christ, the way that the Father dreamt about me when he created me. Because you were not an accident. You were not, be, you were not here on earth because of some, some circumstances. But Father, Son, Holy Spirit, in the beginning, Genesis 1, eh? God spoke, God spoke, and it came into being. God spoke to the water and bring forth, forth the fish. But God spoke to the ground, he brought forth all the grass and everything. But then God looked at himself and he spoke and he said, let us make a man in our image. So Father, Son, Holy Spirit spoke to one another and he, they said, let's make Philip. Let's make Letitia. Your name, just quickly say your name. That's the name when God, that God said when Father, Son, and Holy Spirit looked at one another and they were excited and they said, let us make. Everybody say their name. You were born in his heart. And whatever way the enemy wants to come and make your life a nightmare that you must be a product of your circumstances, product of your past, product of your failures, or even product of your success. You're not a product of your success. You're a product of the heart of the Father. And based on the success in Christ, what he did as the perfect, perfect human being here on earth. You are the product of his success. That's why the word says, 
more than a conqueror, me and you. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We have overcome the world, 1 John 4, 4. Dear children, because greater is he that is in you than he who is in the world. The champion is in you. The champion of creation, the champion of the universe is living in you. Let's say, I will respect the champion of the world who's living in me. Amen. Can please, can you remember that? Facts and truth. Based on truth, we will honor. Based on facts, we can judge. Everybody do this. That is our honor. This, I judge. Now Isaiah says, if you take away the pointing of the finger, then your light will break through. You will be a, like a well-watered garden. You will reach your destiny if you can take away the pointing of the finger. Pointing of the finger based on right and wrong. At the tree of knowledge of good and evil, you and the snake can speak about what is right, what is wrong. What is right and what is wrong. And many times Christians are, a lot, a lot of them are very wrong. <sighs> And sometimes some guys in the world without Christ are very right in what they do. And we are very wrong sometimes. And the testimony is then bad. But what's the difference? The fact that we can choose to honor him in spite of our mistakes. In, fault, in spite of our shortcomings. Why? Because we have the awesome, awesome grace and privilege that we receive the one who's perfect. Who's always right. Who's always right. Who's always right. And our right is in Christ. He is our righteousness. Righteousness, very big word, is your stature. The only stature that you can have in life is not because you did very well in your school and now you're going to study this and you're going to study that. That's nothing about stature. And for some, they will be the CEO. They will be this. They will be that. But when everything is tested as through fire, it's burned away. And the sum total of their lives, what a hell of a waste. By God's grace, it doesn't have to be our lives. Amen. But you have a stature, and that stature is in Christ. When we say, and I had got, is that the right word, tuned me about that. But we will ask a child, what do you want to become? Remember what we said? You don't ask the child, what do you want to become? You, you ask that if your child didn't give his life to Christ. But if your child gave your life to Christ, his life to Christ, that is the most awesome stature, privilege, place of victory that your child can ever have. And that is to become a child of God. And then as a child of God, to be raised up as a son of God in the son of God. To be raised up as the bride of Christ, given by the Father to Jesus. That is who you can become. How do you want to serve God? That's what you need to ask. How do you want to love him on earth? Oh, as an engineer. I want to serve him as a doctor. I want to express my life and my love for God and express his heart to people as a doctor. I want to express his heart as an ambassador of Christ, as a teacher, as an engineer. But who you want to become? Oh, I, I had the awesome privilege to become all that I can become here on earth. And that is a child of God. And as a child of God, I'm growing to be faithful. I'm growing to mature. I'm growing to rise up in the stature of Christ. And the stature of Christ is more of him less of me more of him less of me more of the stature of the one where every knee will bow every tongue will confess so every piece of flesh in me every fear every anxiety every stress every about an exam or about some things that must happen in my life must bow must bow must bow and confess that he's christ he is lord Every success in my life must bow. And I say, success is great. But in the success, where is Christ? He must always be honored. In the stuff that we don't understand. Guys, what's happening out there with Israel and, and the Palestinians, with Russia and the Ukrainians? 
Everything is going to be shaken in the world. What will be your security? These guys, they have studied. They have their degrees. They are excellent in what they do. And the next moment, everything can be gone. There's such a lot of stuff that we don't understand. But God give us the grace to find the truth among the facts. Horrific, horrific facts. Let us not judge and say, Israel is wrong and the Palestinians are right. The Palestinians are right and Israel is wrong. Whatever. The Ukrainians, they're right and the Russians, they're Who gave you the right? Who gave you the judgment seat? But God have mercy on them. God have mercy on them. Amen? Amen? May God manifest himself. And I believe God has challenged us to pray for 15,000 kids. If they're under the rubble, if they're orphaned now, if what, what, what? God manifest yourself supernaturally. Forgive the church where we didn't reach them yet. But help them, Lord. Because our father Abram, through our father Abram, there's a line of Christians, there's a line with the Jews, there's a line with the Arabs. I wonder what he's saying there in heaven. You know, as a father or as a mother, when your children, they fight. Ish. It's not lacquer. Yeah, the descendants of Abram, and they're all killing one another. They all hate one another. They're all this and that. No, 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 no. God's grace, God's mercy will be on that place. You know, like that Christian uh, hospital that was bombed. And 500 dead. And I don't know how many thousand. What happened to them? But that was a... The name was about a Baptist hospital. That place was dedicated to God. And we stand by faith and say, no, please, Jesus, come and reveal yourself. May there be a Christian that just walk in that place under the guidance of the Spirit and say, in the name of Jesus, the presence of God will come down in this place. The presence of God will come down in this place. Jesus said, the works that I've done, you will do. And greater works than this you will do. If the manna and the quails from heaven came, if the five loaves of bread and two fish fed the 7,000. How much more even? As we stand in the name of Jesus, in that place that is dedicated to God. Say, God, we pray that the medicine will just multiply. That the water will just multiply. That the food will just multiply. We, you are not called to judge. Judge ourselves. And say, why can we not stand in the gap? Why can we not stand in the gap? As if we are standing there in that hospital. Say, God, reveal yourself supernaturally. Please, Lord. Please, Lord, reveal yourself supernaturally. May God give us the grace today, even and tomorrow when you hear what's happening in the shaking of the world. May God give us the grace to understand the awesome, awesome, awesome privilege we have. To have what we have in one another, with one another, with the children, with the parents. Hello? With the destiny that God has for our lives. May God us help us. Because the, the word says, in the end time, more and more, it will be wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes and pestilence and all this stuff will happen. The COVID, whatever. But it's not the end. But it's not the end. The 666, but it's not the end. It's not the end. And then the one verse. And the gospel will be preached to all the nations and then the end will come. So in all this shaking, in all this stuff, God's going to raise up an army. God's going to raise up a church where it's all about him and nothing about themselves. And that mature, mature, mature church will reach the nations. And then the end will come. Christ is coming back for a victorious bride. I pray and I bless you that that will be what God has for us and that we will understand through the Holy Spirit how to enter into that stature and destiny that God has for our lives. Amen. Thank you, Father, for who you are. Thank you for what you do in and through our lives, Lord. God, I pray that you will help us, each one of us, that we will be so safe in your perfect love that drives out all fear. God, so that in through and through your peace, Lord, all anxiety will be stilled. 
through the joy and the excitement that you have about our future, we will find strength. I pray for each man or woman that's going through trauma and even in the mind, even in the emotion, even in the heart, God, that you will just come and reveal yourself. As we also pray for the nations out there and the shaking that's happening with everything that is shaken. Raise up, raise up your children, Lord. Forgive every area, everything, so many things that we have done wrong in our lives already, Lord, and mistakes that we're going to make. But by your grace, through the cross of Christ, where we boast in nothing else except in your cross, help us, Lord. Help us to make the difference in this world, to live the dream that you have for us. God, I pray that you will help us so that the dream in your heart will be revealed to every child, every child, that they will know how precious, awesomely precious they are. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.